exactly as well uh, looking up tonight you're probably more likely to get a face full of rain to be quite honest we have got some wet weather on the way but for the time being it's actually quite cold out there temperatures at Luton airport are still just around about freezing so it is cold you wouldn't have needed much of an excuse to fly away somewhere a good deal warmer mind you it is a little bit less chilly across western parts of the British Isles here We've got a band of wet weather pushing in, and that will spread across the whole of the country over the next 12 hours or so. On the satellite picture, it shows the story quite nicely. A big sweep of cloud coming in off the Atlantic with our area of low pressure just around about uh, Iceland. The winds will continue to freshen from the south or southwest, bringing yet more rain across Northern Ireland. It's already been a dismal morning here. More of that rain to come here through the rest of today. The rain also will get in across the western side of Scotland, but further east it should stay dry but disappointingly clouding with temperatures around 6 degrees Celsius. It's not going to feel particularly warm as that wind continues to freshen. For northeast England, well, it's been a very cold start to the morning here with a frosty morning. Temperatures are very, very slow to rise. We're looking at highs of around 4 or 5 degrees Celsius, perhaps with one or two uh, drizzly showers coming along from time to time. For southwest England, well, we keep those grey and cloudy skies. The rain will get into Cornwall and also western fringes of Wales. And overnight, this rain could cause one or two concerns because we could get as much as 40 millimetres, an inch and a half of rain falling over the hills of Wales and southwest England, particularly as this band of wet weather sweeps in overnight. Now, along with the rain, there will turn to snow quite readily across the mountains of northeast Scotland. And as this whole band of wet weather begins to shift over towards the east, the skies will clear in Northern Ireland, then for Wales and then the southwest of England. That, that means we could have one or two icy stretches on untreated roads and surfaces just around about dawn. Now, the wet weather is all tied in with our weather fronts and our area of low pressure. And as we take you through the sequence for Saturday, this weather front becomes very, very slow moving indeed. It will dawdle its way across towards eastern areas of Scotland and England, where it will stay through most of the afternoon. So a disappointing grey damp day here. Temperatures again struggling, 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. And after that icy start in the west, there will be one or two showers. Some of those will be wintry, perhaps with some snow over the hills. Also, one or two brighter spells, but another cold day, 4 to 6 degrees Celsius. On the face of it, Sunday looks the better of the two days of the weekend. There will be some sunshine around after a fairly cold start to the day. Some thicker cloud out in the North Sea will bring perhaps a little bit of drizzle onto the shores of northeast England and uh, northeast Scotland as well, where it will stay fairly dull. But it will be another cool one with temperatures of.